the Department of Agriculture, number two job, huge industry important in every state in our, in our country. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. As it turns out, I think the administration has given us a terrific nominee. The uh, Department of Agriculture plays a critical role in ensuring that people from every corner of this uh, country have something to eat, hopefully something nutritious to eat, and also to help us with respect to farming, and farming agriculture, farming economy, public health, broadband, and a whole lot more. And the role of the Deputy Secretary of the Department is, is a big deal, very big deal. It requires someone who is diligent, requires someone who is sharp, it requires someone who ultimately understands the department. It's a big department. It requires someone who is diligent. And I know that uh, Under Secretary Torres Smalls possesses all of those qualities and a whole lot more. In her current position as the Under Secretary of Agriculture for Rural Development, she's been involved with every function of the department including overseeing the deployment of $2 billion, $2 billion for rural broadband that was secured in the bipartisan infrastructure law that we passed here by almost a unanimous vote uh, more than a year ago. This month, we saw states across our country receive this significant funding to expand broadband access for literally millions of people in many parts of our nation, rural parts of our nation, including Delaware's own Sussex County, one of the largest counties in the country. We only have three counties in Delaware. The southernmost county is Sussex, and it's uh, one of the top countries, uh, one of the ca top counties in the country for growing corn and soybeans, and it's one of the top counties in the country for growing chickens. We have in Delaware over 200 chickens for every person, so it's a big deal for us. A big deal for us. Prior to serving at the Department of Agriculture, Under Secretary Tara Small has had a history of serving her country. She was a United States representative for New Mexico's second congressional district where she grew up as, get this, a granddaughter of farm workers. And as a representative, a U.S. representative, served as a member of the House Agriculture Committee, among other committees, and previously spent time on the ground in New Mexico, as I mentioned earlier, as a field rep for our old friend, our co-colleague, uh, Senator Tom Udall, who's now the U.S. ambassador to New Zealand. I talked to him about a month ago, and Senator Stabenow, he thinks he has the best job on the planet. <laughs> and if you've talked to him, you know what, what I mean. But uh, Xochitl is, is also an accomplished attorney, practicing uh, water and natural resources law, and served as a former clerk in the U.S. Uh, District Court for a fellow named uh, Judge Robert Seabrack. And all these experiences help make her well-suited to take on the role of Deputy Secretary, because I know that she understands our nation and understands us on a human level as well. That was made especially clear during her nomination hearing. Under Secretary Charles Small spoke of her goals to better communicate the, the role of the department across our country so that programs are deployed more efficiently, more effectively, more humanely. She also hum highlighted how she will work to support underserved producers and small farmers by always raising awareness of the federal resources that they may be eligible for. So in closing, Reeling to Senator Stabenow, I strongly urge our colleagues to confirm Under Secretary Xochitl Torres Small as the Deputy Secretary for the Department of Agriculture. She will make us proud. She will make New Mexico proud. She will make our country proud. And with that, I yield a reminder of my time to, uh, I, I, I would just stop talking and just yield the floor to Senator Stabenow. Thank you very much.